Hello, everybody. I wanted to uh, hop back here after the Las Vegas challenge is done and get our first update of the team standings. If you're not familiar with the team standings, it's something I came up with uh, in order to try and uh, give more value to players who might not win every tournament or even get a win in a year, but still be um, high level contributors. So, what I do is I give points to the top five finishers from each team and then based off of that we give a score which then gives your team points and puts you towards standings in the air so um a couple quick things to look at from last time i was not anticipating that i would need to have a rule for a dnf um but that did happen somebody scored with a dnf so i gave them the last place points and that's gonna be the rule um, and then I also had to deal with a team not getting a full lineup out there. Uh, so we'll cover that when we get there. Uh, additionally, uh, I added one more team. I added DGA. I was working through the scores and I realized they had enough guys. So we now have nine teams in our lineup now. So let's look at how this week went. Uh, Discraft dominated. That's how this the Las Vegas went. They didn't win. Ezra came out of nowhere to get second place. Um, makes sense. Bomber course, Ezra just chucks a disc. Um, but Discraft was just dominant. I mean, all five inside the top ten, that's ridiculous. Um, and if we hop over here, we'll see Discraft in first, Anova came in second, Trilogy third, Prodigy fourth, Lone Star coming in fifth. Very good showing for uh, really their first run of a, of a full pro team out there. Uh, MVP coming in sixth. Discmania 7th, DGA 8th, and Infinite was in last place. Let's take a quick look at some of those things. Uh, Innova gets second place. They do have the first place winner. Yes, I did call that one. Um, and really pretty good showing all the people you'd expect to be there, with the exception of Clint Calvin. Shout out to him. I didn't even know his name before this event. I uh, looked him up, said, oh, look, he's sponsored by Innova. And so that's some really high quality points that he brought to the team there, especially a uh, big germ DNF'd out. Uh, so that was a big change for them. Um, on the other hand, let's go to two teams that did not perform well, uh, right next to each other here. Discmania was looking pretty good, although Casey White's a lot farther down there than you'd like to see him. But Gavin Babcock had the unfortunate incident of falling out of a tree and rolling his ankle and uh, having to DNF. So that really put a damper on the day for Discmania. Um, MVP did not have a good showing. I don't think there's any way around it uh, for the amount of money and hype that was around them this offseason. Uh, a 47th place from Simon Lazat uh, just is, is not what you would want from him. On the other hand, it's his first time out with a new bag. I'm not going to judge him, but from a purely standings point, that's that's not what they were looking for. Um, other shout-outs. Uh, Shout-out to Jake Ebenheimer, getting 20th place. Really good spot for him to be at. Ty Love, didn't know that name either. 39th, contributing to Trilogy. That's really impressive for him to do. Obviously, Trilogy was down Ricky Wysocki this weekend, so... Uh, that's what they have to deal with. Ganon Burr fell off a little bit for Prodigy, but on the other hand, <laughs> I'm scoring Ganon Burr with Prodigy right now. So there's obviously some drama there. Hopping up to Lone Star, great, great showing from Emerson Keith and Nico LaCastro. Robert Burridge putting in good points there. Overall, uh, that score there from them is a really good score for the start of the year. So we see our current standings. Um, and... This is probably subject to change, but I'm going to say it's it's really going to turn into a battle of who can beat Discraft uh, right now. I don't know who that is. Um, Innova might have a shot, depending upon what the weekend looks like. Trilogy, uh, if Ricky's back, uh, then maybe there's a bit of a shot. But yeah, I remember Discraft didn't even uh, have... <laughs> um, they, they just There's a lot of guys in their lineup that you see here that... that don't even don't even show up on this top five. They're ridiculously loaded right now. Uh, you don't even have Chris Dickerson in there, so he didn't even play this tournament. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting to see if anybody can beat them. But overall, uh, I really like the interest that this gave me for watching uh, the team standings. I found myself looking at UDisc 
at you know the 30 40 range to see how guys were doing not just the one two three four range so i hope you enjoy this um our next event is going to be waco so that's two weeks from now i'm just going off the disc golf pro tour schedule so we'll see what happens at waco bye for now